So today we're hitting quads and also checking in on how the cut's going. And so all together, so it's been three weeks. Yeah, three weeks. And we've lost five and a half pounds all together. And honestly, that's the pace that I, I'm, I wanted it to be. So we're doing pretty good. And I also want to talk about that because, you know, I also want to let you guys know mentally, like my thought process through, through this cut and like just being like realistic of like how my like mental state or like how my thoughts, you know, yeah, my thought process. Because so this week, this week we did lose two pounds and, and it's funny because in the beginning, or at least, let me put it this way. Yeah, we did lose two pounds. So I wanna say like the third day of the week, we lost a pound and I'm like, oh, nice or something, you know, or was it the second day? It was something like that. And then I'm like, oh yeah, like good, we're, we're on a good track. And it's funny because, you know, I do the weigh-ins, cause like I told you guys, it's a tool. It's a tool for me to see if everything's going how I want it to go. You know, I need to know if the scale's going down. So we need to know to adjust. But it's funny how our brain works because, you know, for the rest of the, the week, the weight, the scale wasn't moving. It stayed the same. And it's funny because when you say it out loud, it's like, wait, so what? Like, am I expecting to lose a pound a day? Like, no, that's not realistic. But it's funny how our brain tells us like, like, oh, that's weird. It's not moving. You know, it's, it's just staying the same. And, and that's why, that's why I feel like sometimes you know, you need to not be so hard on yourself. And I guess I'm saying like, I need to not be so hard on myself and, and just putting, you know, just to not normalize, like, you know, like, oh yeah, we should be losing a pound a day or something, you know, just, just to like acknowledge your thought process. Like, cause I had to catch myself and I was just like, well, I mean, Hey, we're at least we're staying the same. We're, we're not gaining weight. So, you know, and sometimes it takes the scale a while to, to move and that's fine. And, and it's funny because, you know, us being on a bulk for so long, you kind of need to like get back into the groove of like, okay, this is normal. Like this is how the cut, you know, usually goes. It does take a little bit and you have to be patient and, you know, just being patient. It, and it's hard. It's hard to be patient sometimes. And because then you start questioning, like I literally was questioning, I'm like, wait, what if I'm actually like, what if I'm actually tracking wrong? And I, cause I use like a, an, an app to help me track. And I'm like, but what if it's wrong? What if I, you know, calculated something off and see, like, that's why I was like overthinking it too much. Cause I'm just like, so then I literally wrote down, I was like seeing what I ate and I wrote it down on paper and added it up. And I'm like, wait, yeah, no, it's, it's the numbers I'm, you know, wanting to hit. So I'm fine. And just being like, okay, literally I'm just overthinking it. And and it's funny this morning, this morning we lost a whole pound and I'm just like, yeah, like we're fine. But it's, it's, uh, it's just one of those things like, you know, the time can go, it, depending on what you're, how you look at it, like the time can feel so slow. And I think that's why it's just like, okay, like, I feel like I've been at this weight forever, but then realistically it's like, hasn't even been that long. So I wanted to share that with you guys because it's like if you're trying to like lose weight too and you feel like it's taking forever, like, you know, just maybe take a step back and realistically, you know, see like, okay, nah, we've been losing a pound a week or, you know, half a pound even. Like that is progress and that's great, you know, and it, it depends on you how aggressive you want your cut to be and, and all that stuff. And and for me, I'm trying it out more aggressively and I want to see how I like it. And, and that's why I did want to like, go about it like a pound and a half a week and, and see how I you know because I, I, I guess I'm saying is like I don't want to stay in a deficit for so long and that's not the plan for me like I, I want to try it that we stay in a deficit we'll see how long I mean I'm I'm honestly thinking I don't know we'll see we'll see I don't want to like throw out numbers yet but and then I kind of want to slowly because I feel like you, we need to be aware, like the, when we do like reverse diet, like when we go back after we're done cutting, the amount we eat after we're dieting, the, those first like couple weeks are actually very important. And you know what, I'll go more into that when we get there and, and talk more about that. But um, I actually don't believe you should go like straight into a surplus, you know, like, 
and and I maybe can talk more about how the body reacts and everything, but um, you know, we'll save that for for when we're closer to that. But I just want to address like if you're also trying to cut and you're being a little too hard on yourself, like you know, just just know it's it's something that we have to be very patient and. And that's why I'm just like, okay. And I, I just want to share that because it's good just to acknowledge what my thought process is during the beginning of the cut and then see if that changes towards the middle or the end. And, you know, just just documenting all of that. And yeah, so I think that's all I want to share about that. And, and like I said, we're on a great pace. And... Um, Hmm. I mean, if you guys ever do have questions, it does, you know, help know what to address when we're, you know, before we go into the gym or after, you know, and, and, th and topics that you guys want to like hear more about. Because um, I know someone was asking me again about like warm ups and stuff. So, so when we get in there, I'll like probably talk more about how I go about lifting, you know, I mean, like before the lift or and stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and just head in there. We're going to start with calves first. And um, yeah, let's, uh, I'll see you guys inside. So I'm actually, I guess you can say layered today because I'm actually, I have shorts under, but I usually, see, that's why it's when I'm wearing shorts, I just wear shorts. And if I wear like joggers or leggings, I just wear that because I'm like, I don't want to do more laundry. <laughs> but I notice I don't like doing my cardio when I'm wearing shorts because then my legs start to, I think it's called chafing where they like rub against each other and it's just kind of like annoying. So I, uh, I'm like, you know what, it's fine. Especially if it's just like once a week that I'm, you know, so we're wearing this for now. And then I think eventually when I get all warmed up, then yeah, I'll put on, not put on, I guess, take off the <laughs> joggers and uh, we'll be with, uh, yeah, the shorts. Why do I, I don't know why I was looking, <laughs> like, what am I wearing right now? Okay, so anyways, um. We're going to start off with calves. Let me just get into it and then uh, maybe I'll uh, explain after. So this is my uh, second working set. So, like I was saying, well, like I was saying in the last leg video, um, make sure you're stretching. That stretch at the bottom is super important. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so just make sure you're doing it. I know a lot of people um, just like going really fast when they're doing calves, but uh, you know, just remember that stretch is important. And okay, I was gonna talk about the warm up. So see, we're just starting with calves. I just go up to my working set. And so we start with lighter weight and then we work our way up, but also I'm not doing a bunch of reps Cause I'm also not trying to fatigue that muscle. I'm trying to like work out and, and all that stuff. So, so at least with calves, I, uh, just go up to, well, no, honestly, it's the rest, but I'll just like talk through it with you guys while we go about it. So we just did calves and in between while I'm resting, I will like do dynamic stretching. So, which is honestly, uh, that's also pretty simple too. So, um, let me just show you right now. Let me uh, adjust the camera. Okay, so like, you know, in between sets, I do like just like, just moving my legs around, like, you know, doing some kickbacks and stuff. And then I do it to the other leg. And it just like, I don't know, just feels nice. And then we'll go this one. But also, I guess I'm saying it's like, it's nothing crazy. And then after that, like, um, we just go into our, like work up to our working set. So. You know, we do our calves. I did that little warm up. You know, I feel good. 
And, and you know what, I can also talk more about it at the end of the workout because I feel like I have more to say about why I go about it so simple. Um, but anyways, I'm going to do one more and then I'll see you guys for leg extensions. So to go back to about the warm up, just in case, cause I know people are going to be like, well, you have to warm up. You're going to hurt yourself and stuff. And and I guess I'm saying like, there's so many factors how people go about hurting themselves. And I'm just explaining like how I approach my lifting and the journey, how that, that looked like to me. So I used to overtrain myself and I feel like a lot of people actually do overtrain, but they don't know it. And that's why I tell you guys a good indicator is to know if you're getting stronger, how your body, you know, is recovering and all that stuff, because I would overtrain myself that yeah, I would have to warm up because my body felt so broken. I felt so achy and like my joints, like even just to bend down to pet my puppy or something like, you know, well, actually it was before I had my puppy, but like just to bend down and do something like my, my knees were so achy and I'm just like, oh my gosh. So it's like, if you feel so achy, of course you have to warm up because once you warm up, your body does feel better, you know, depending on like if you're sore and all that stuff, your body does feel better after you, you get it moving and warmed up. So people think, oh, if I don't warm up, I'm going to hurt myself and stuff. So I'm just saying my experience and, and when I did overtrain that didn't, you know, I, I had to like warm up, you know, but now that I'm training efficiently and my body's recovering and it feels stronger, it feels better. I feel more, I don't even know what to say. My, my, I feel healthier, you know, my body feels like it's full capabilities, you know, when it comes to the gym and all that stuff. So just a little context of like that. I, I, I did used to do warm ups and stuff and now I don't. And honestly, my training's better, not because I don't do warm ups. My training's better because of the whole thing, the whole training aspect of it, how I, I train now all, all like all together. So there's just so many factors. Cause I'm not saying, Oh, don't warm up. But I'm like, I don't know how your training is. I don't know how you train. Maybe you do need to because you have like an injury and you need to get your body moving and you get it warm. I'm just explaining how I train and how that looked like through the years of training. And now realizing like, you know, I just was overtraining my body so much that it was easier for me to hurt myself because my body was so fatigued and tired and broken down already. But hope hopefully that makes sense to you. Um I'm going to go ahead and, and do this set. This is my first working set. Like checking because, I mean, that actually felt really good. Huh. Okay. Well, at least we're on a good start. And, um, so for example, I worked up to this weight, but I don't, I don't like, I did probably like four reps, you know, I'm not doing like a whole set, maybe do three to four reps, see how my body likes that. Because also you need to see sometimes, you know, we are weaker some days, sometimes we're not. So you kind of gauge it, or at least this is how I go about it. I gauge it. I'm like, okay, that felt good. Let me add a little bit more. Rest a little and then go about it. And I'm like, okay, did a few reps. That felt pretty good. But let me emphasize, do not fatigue yourself before your actual lift. Because I hope, I hope you don't go about it and do like 10 to 20 reps. And then you're just like, okay, let me do my working set. You're tiring yourself out. Why are you tiring yourself out? For Put all your energy into your working sets. I mean, if you're, depends on your goals. So so for me, I want to, you know, gain muscle and all that stuff. And right now we're maintaining and also we're going to push ourselves no matter what. So if we're able to push more weight, we're going to, we're going to do it. But, um, um, I think, yeah, just, uh, work up to your working set. And this is me assuming, you know, how to go about the lift. Cause if you, let's say you're barely in the gym and you're going to like barely start and you're going to squat and you're like, actually, I don't know how to squat, but you know what? I'm just going to do it. <laughs> like, no, I'm, I'm assuming you know how to lift. I'm assuming you know how to control the weight. I'm assuming you know how to go about it. 
um, because learning something and and doing doing something already with the knowledge you have, like there, it's going to be totally different. So I'm assuming you also know how to lift and you know how to control the weight. So you know, because that, that's that's how I'm going about it. I know how to do a leg extension. I know how to go about it. I know when something feels off, you know, or something, but you know, I'm just gonna, through this whole workout, I'll go through my like whole thought process and, um, you know, cause I know people really wanna know how I warm up, but this is kind of how I go about it. And it has to do from, it, it's because of how I train all together, not just, you know, cause I, I, like I told you guys, I don't know how you train. So it could uh, be a little different. So maybe that's why you do need to warm up because it's different. But for me, this is how I've been going about it for a long time. And you guys see me, I haven't gotten injured, you know, because I feel like people are going to be like, oh, you can hurt yourself. I mean, you can hurt yourself doing anything. But um, this is my experience. And, you know, I wanted to share it with you guys how I go about it. Okay, so that felt really weird. If you've ever had joggers on and then you take them off, you know, for to like just wear your shorts. I felt so weird. I felt like I was really undressing. I was like, wait, I better be wearing my shorts under here. It just felt so weird. <laughs> Feels way different than uh, just taking off your shirt with your tank top on, you know? So anyways, we're all good. We're all fine. We're wearing shorts. Um, that would have been a really bad dream. So uh, now I'm going to dream about that <laughs> one of these days. It's like when you dream about wearing something or not wearing something when you go to school, that's almost what it felt. Okay. So this is my last set and we actually added more weight for the one before that and we're we're feeling good we're <laughs> yeah my legs are feeling strong so anyways we're i just added i, I went back down to normal weight and i just put it just a little bit because i'm not uh, assuming we're gonna be able to hit that weight again so anyways this will be the last set then we're gonna see what's open <clears throat> Oh yeah, that, that last I uh, killed my legs pretty good. Oh. Okay, so which I'm fine because uh I want you know I want to just leave it all in the gym. I don't want to like hold back and just keep holding back. Push it with all your lifts. That way you just know that you kill them at the very end. So we want to see if leg, leg press is open or the hack squat. Okay, so this will be the first working set and you know, I'll just go over like me working up to this weight. So I, I know how much I'm able to do or at least, you know, on a good day. So I kind of like, you know, I don't go, I don't start off with one plate and then work my way up. That'd be too much. So I did start off with four plates, felt great. Did like two to three slow reps, filled it like, yeah, felt it out. <laughs> and then I added one more plate just to make sure. And I'm like, to know, I'm like, okay, can I do more? Is that like my working side? Because if it was hard, I would have just done, I would have just done a set with that weight, but I'm like, now nah, I know I can add a 25. So that's why we added 25. I did one wrap. I'm like, now nah, we can add, we can add more. So now this would be my working set. I hope that makes sense to you guys. <laughs> I was debating on recording it, but I don't know. I thought I, I can just explain it too. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh. oh, okay. So that was more reps than last time. And uh, that's why I was like, realizing I'm just, body's feeling really good today. So, oh gosh, I felt so good in my legs. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more work inside. And like I tell you guys, I like to at least do six, Six to eight, something six to seven hard work insets for that muscle group. So we did, we did three leg extension, three sets of leg extensions. We're gonna do two sets of this, and then two sets of uh, the hack squat. Okay, so I think I'm gonna keep this weight for the next set. I'll tell you guys how it goes and see how many reps I do. But that one was seven, so we'll see. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, so our hack squat's not open. So we're doing the Smith machine. I mean, I was uh, kind of worried. So I'm like, oh, am I really? Because you guys know I like the hack squat way more. But I mean, hey, these are actually feeling pretty decent. And I'm doing it with more a closer stance. And I have like a little plate here for elevation. And they actually feel really good. So this will be the first working set. So I'm curious to know how the working set will feel. Because uh, I was debating on leaving it at a plate. But then I'm like, nah, I feel like we can, you know, let's make these hard. And um, sometimes it's uh, easier to uh, go with the lighter way. <laughs> um, physically and mentally. Because uh, I am scared. I feel like, of course, it's going to be really hard. And, um, you know, we're just going to try our best. We're, we only have two sets of this. And that's the thing, too, is, like, mentally knowing we only have two sets. And, you know, make sure we're actually, like, working at these sets. We're not going to be like, oh, maybe maybe the next set we'll try harder, you know? Ah! Yeah, don't, don't hurt. See, this is what I'm saying. You can hurt yourself not even lifting. <laughs> So watch your step. Okay, I'm trying to hurt myself picking a song. Okay. <laughs> we'll lower the weight. And see, stuff like that, I'll do, I'll do, because you know how I said we'll do two sets? We'll do three, because we're, that was only two reps. I mean, there were good reps. I'm not saying, like, oh, that, that was trash or whatever. There were good two reps. But, you know, I need a, a little more volume than that. <laughs> you know, I can't be doing two reps for each set. So that's when we'll do three sets. So that's a good example because, you know, sometimes I tell you guys we'll do six to eight and maybe you're like, well, how do you know when to do that? Stuff like that. So if I'm only able to do two, I overshot and um, that was too heavy for me. So, you know what? Let's, uh, I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm going to, like, I'm going to get a response because I'm debating if I want to do a plate or if we just, we do a plate in a 10. Hmm. 
We'll see, but we'll do we'll still do two more sets. Okay, we're doing a plate because I'm gonna assume my quads got really fatigued from those two, even though they were just two reps, you know, they got <laughs> got the energy sucked out of them, I guess you can say. But uh, you know, a plate's still good because also we have a closer stand, so it is harder, but it feels really good. I was debating because the hack squat's open now, but I'm just like, nah, we're we're fine. I mean, you know, of course, like it's nice to go with their first option, but we're here and these feel good, so eh, not gonna think too much about it. We're just gonna stick with these. Oh my gosh. So we really take advantage of our depth. And it feels so nice because then it's just like your quads just making that much movement makes it so hard. You know, I mean, doing more movement makes it hard. But don't get that twisted. I know <laughs> how I've talked about doesn't mean more movement is better. Do a much movement the muscle's able to do. So quads for sure, you know, they can be stretched in that position and then come back up. But, uh, you know, for example, for the ones that don't watch like maybe all my videos, I'm referring back to like back workouts because some people go too much and it's just like your, your back stops there. Like, your muscle like squeezing it and then going you know forward and squeezing it you don't need to be like touching your elbows together you know to be like oh i'm getting more activation because i'm doing more movement but, so i mean just to put it simply <laughs> those felt good and um oh i'm debating because we're going to do one more set i want that set to be hard i think i want to add 10 more pounds so we'll do that we'll do that i'll see if i record it okay last set <laughs> so we did add the 10 pounds on your side i was debating i'm like oh maybe just five but honestly the beginning reps were pretty smooth so i'm just like now nah, we'll, we'll do it we'll do it we're fine <sighs> we can do it guys we can do it it's the last one. I'll go out of here crawling. Yeah. <laughs> 
Man, it's, it's like, could I have done one more rep? I don't know. Oh. It's because that rep felt so slow, such a grinder. Probably didn't look like it. Sometimes that happens. Like, sometimes I record something and I'm like, man, that felt so slow. But it actually, the pace wasn't that bad. So, in the moment, that last one felt really hard. Oh, should've just done it, should've just done it, but. Anyways, those actually, I'm so glad we did the 10 though, because those actually were solid reps. And um, there's something else I wanted to say. Just that I'm happy I'm getting better at bracing. Because man, if I wasn't bracing, those, I guess I'm saying with me bracing, those went up so nice. Because like, I just felt so much more controlled, if that, if that makes sense. Because it's like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. But if you naturally know how to brace, I know a lot of people actually do, then you know what I mean. But if you're like me and you took a while to like figure out how to brace, and that's why it does help having like a, a belt because you're pushing against it. You're not sucking in, you're bracing. It's like when people describe like when someone like, when you're laughing or if someone like hits you, like you like kind of like, brace your, your stomach, you know, automatically. So it's kind of that. It just helps you stay strong and push the weight up. So, I mean, cause like a lot of people, if they say that they have like lower back pain, make sure you're bracing, you know? Cause if you're not bracing, everything's gonna like be really unstable. So if you're bracing, everything's tight and strong. And yeah, so I don't know. I feel like that's just the best way to put it. Make sure you're bracing with everything, with every lift you're doing. But I guess that's it for quads and we'll do some posing. I don't know. Okay, so we did end up doing another set. I wanted to make sure we killed quads. And as you guys saw from the last clip, I was still like, ah, like questioning it. So I didn't like that in because you know, we don't usually use a Smith machine. So I wasn't sure how much weight that I was able to do. So I overshot and then I think I put, to, so it was just like a learning curve. But anyways, we did do one more set and I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that, that we did. And honestly, they felt so good because I was questioning when I was doing the set, I was just like, wait, maybe I should have, you know, shouldn't have done it. Cause obviously these are hard, but we ended up doing at least four reps and I actually added five more pounds on each side. So we added more weight. I did it for four reps. <laughs> the first two were really hard and I was just like, no, no, just do it. Don't leave this set questioning if you even push yourself for this set. So we, we were able to do two more reps and I'm really happy that I'm understanding how to brace because honestly, if I wasn't bracing, like I said, like I wouldn't been able to pick that weight up. It felt so solid. And now I'm just like, man, now I can understand when I see people lifting, or more like lower body because you guys know that's the one I, it was took me a while to like click with and so now you know i understand because when i see people like squat or do anything where it's like really bracing i'm just like man how do they look so solid because to me i would fall apart you know i wasn't able to hold that you know like i don't know just that I wasn't able to but now i feel like with us training abs us acknowledging how to brace like it's getting better and it's helping with my lifts. So if you're not training abs, at least like once a week, cause it is a muscle group, just like all your other muscles, like train them, you know, with weight. Like, cause I, I do weighted crunches because you know, just to get them stronger and then they're going to help with your other lifts. But anyways, let's get into the posing. Um, see how the quads are looking. And see, this is what I'm talking about. Like if I were to do cardio, cause I, I got on the elliptical, my legs would start to just rub against each other. And even if I like to push them down as much as possible, it just rides back up. So that's why I'm like, ah, we'll just board the joggers. It's fine. Let's see. Oh, and then we'll do the calves. Someone was uh, nice to share their journey of their calves growing and how it was also like a weak point of theirs. So thank you for sharing that. It was honestly, oh, 
from really nice to hear and it gave me hope like you know we'll get there we'll get there where my calves are you know popping <laughs> they're they're doing something Hopefully you guys see them <sighs> okay i'm trying to think here because like i told you guys i i mean if anything i'm really glad how the workout went with my strength and everything because with us eating less, it doesn't, you know, have me question like how we'll do in the gym, but you know, we, we're doing good. We're doing good and I'll take it. Um, huh. And we'll do a side so you can see like the sweep. It's funny. I wonder if other people notice those little things. Um, cause when I see someone in there, their quads are just like, whew, it's just, it's really nice. I love it. <laughs> so. And then we still have the adductors next. Actually, they're both being used. So hopefully by the time we're done, maybe we can get on that. And uh, so that'll be working right here, the inside of your, your thigh. So get that thick look. I feel like, okay, but maybe, maybe I'm just, I don't know, but I feel like my teardrop is showing a little more. And I feel like because, you know, we're leaning down that's why it's cool. It's cool to see how your muscles start to look when you're leaner. I don't know why I feel like I, I think that's it. I think that's, uh, that's all I got. I don't know, let me go a little closer. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next lift. In that one, we're gonna try something because since I'm almost able to do the whole stack, you guys are just saying really go super slow, you know, lean into the stretch and everything. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna see and see if it, you know, how it goes. <laughs> okay, let's try this. I was, uh, you know, doing the full extent that it can come out and then squeezing in and you know, um, but that was a little bit lower weight. Now we, we're trying the full stack. We're gonna try and see if like this can be, you know, challenging. So that's as far as it goes right there. So there we go. One. One, two. I mean, I mean, this one felt hard, but uh, I guess I'm saying like, I'm glad I haven't maxed out the other machines because it's so nice using machines. Um, so I don't know. Sometimes I question, am I even doing this right? Because <laughs> how am I able to do that? But yeah, I mean, I went slow as in like, I counted to two seconds out and then two seconds holding it, two seconds, like, you know, just to make it super slow. But, you know, I mean, like, I think, I think it's the best that we can do with that. I mean, we can probably add those little weighted um, plates thingies. But, uh, I mean, other than that, I mean, as long as we keep it slow and stuff, maybe we're fine. I'll go ahead and do another set of this and, uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So I wanted to go over a little more about what I mean about like overtraining just because I hope it doesn't get mixed up because 
When I talk about like overtraining, I mean like, is your body like able to like recover? Because you know, when you work out, your body can get more fatigue and all that stuff. And you know, I'm not saying not to work hard in the gym because if anything, maybe, you know, you guys can see how my journey with me approaching it this way, how that's going for me. And, you know, just also always try things out for yourself. You know, don't ever just believe someone or do something just because someone says so. You know, try it out. And then you're just like, honestly, yeah, this works good for me. Then then there you go. But so I'm just like sharing my experience and, you know, what's helped me. And, you know, I, I also, you know, trained like I used to think, oh, training longer and and more, you know, was better. But then, you know, not seeing the results with that because I wasn't getting stronger. So I, was, I technically wasn't getting better because I was just so like, it's just so tired every time I would go in the gym and I'd be like, oh no, it's fine. It's because, you know, we worked out so hard though, you know, and just kind of like justifying that. So I also think people should approach it, you know, try with less. And if your body reacts amazing with less, go with that. Like, I guess I'm saying like, don't go like hardcore, you know, working out for like five hours and, and you just barely started and, and you're doing that like seven days a week. Like, I don't know. I guess I'm saying like, do less and see if your body reacts good to that and then and then go from there. And if you do need you know, if you realize, oh, well, I feel like I can, I've been doing good actually with eight sets. So we're just going to stick with eight sets. Cause you know, that's why I'm like, so far it's been like six sets we've been sticking with and my body saw amazing progress with that. And to some people that that's like so little, cause I mean, some people do like, I don't even know, 10 to 15 sets or something. And I mean, I used to too. So And I mean, I used to think that my workouts were good. So I guess I'm just saying like, try things out for yourself. And um, it just goes to what I was talking about with like my warm up because my body was so beaten up and so fatigued and achy. I had to like warm up more just to like not feel that when I was gonna train. And so now that my body is able to recover and I'm going almost like my body's like going into it like, like, you know, at its full capability to like, to push it again, you know? So if that, I hope that makes sense. And if it doesn't, you know, just, just tell me in the comments of like something, if you were confused about something and, you know, maybe I'll go over it maybe in a different way, because sometimes, you know, how you say something and if you say it a little differently, then it sometimes clicks and you're just like, oh, that's what you meant. Or like, oh, that makes sense or something, you know, but you know, I'm also not aware of like, you know, other people, cause I know someone wanted to know about warmups, but I also, you know, I wanna tell you how I go about it, but at the same time, just to like point out, I don't know how you train. Cause what if your training's totally different? And you know, I, you know, it's just like all those things that I'm not sure about and, and all that stuff. So that's why I emphasize, this is how I train. And because I train like this, this is why my body responds in this way and and stuff like that but at the end of it i just want you guys to feel like you're getting the most out of your workouts and you feel like you're on the right track because i would hate if you guys felt like you were lost you didn't feel like you were seeing results and things like that that's why i like to talk about how the cut's going because a lot of the time a lot of people are trying to lose weight most of the time, but not always, you know, I've had a few people say that, you know, their problem is gaining weight, you know, and they have to like eat more, but usually it's, it's losing weight. And that's why I wanted to like, you know, always talk about those mental struggles that we have, like, oh, we're not losing weight fast enough, or, oh, I'm not losing weight at all. And like, well, it's like, well, okay, well, how much calories are you eating? Like maybe look at and track your food and then see what's going on. And, you know, just putting those in perspectives and hopefully it helps because yeah like I said I just don't ever want you guys to not feel like you're progressing because I feel like that's like the worst feeling and 
it would hurt me if you guys felt like you were feeling that way. So if like, if there's anything I can help sharing things that have helped me, then yes, I want to do that. So I hope that this video made sense and you know, I'm just glad it was a good question because I do think, I mean, back then I would be like, okay, what's the perfect warm up? You know, what's the, what do I need to do? And I felt like, you know, just, and a lot of, a lot of times too, I tell you guys, a lot of things are mental. Sometimes it's nice to do a little routine if it gets you like in the headspace. So, you know, you need to do what's best for you and, you know, don't, don't feel like it's like everything has to be perfectly how someone says you need to do it and it needs to be just like that it doesn't need to be like do what's best for you if you see progress if you're mentally excited and, and getting better and feeling good about yourself and your progression like I, that's that's all you can ask for and, and you're on the right track already so i'll see you guys for chest shoulders and biceps tomorrow <sighs> yeah, I was actually very surprised with today's workout because, yeah, I didn't expect my body to feel this strong and this good. So, so we'll see how we feel tomorrow and, you know, hopefully we feel great again tomorrow too. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.